Explaining Viruses Part 7. Flash Update. Flash Update can only be downloaded in Android and not iPhones. Flash Update is a spyware that sends messages to your contacts and tracks your activities. Google Play warned you that this app is a harmful app. When you open it, it will say that the app wasn't installed and then request accessibility permission. After that, it will give itself permission like deactivate battery optimization show over apps, etc. The app will disappear from the drawer if you try uninstall. The app, it will just kick you out of the settings. The app can read your messages and access your files. It can also send messages to all your contacts. It can also access your bank accounts and more. Explaining Viruses Part 8 Chrome APK Chrome.apk is a fake version of Chrome. This fake version of Chrome is a malware that gets your sensitive info, like files, photos, MEI, etc. Google Play Protect will also will warn you before installing it. After opening the app, it will ask you to grant accessibility permission. The app is in Turkish saying, please enable Chrome setting. The app will bomb you notifications every second until you enable accessibility permission. After you grant accessibility permission, it will grant it itself so many permission like admin, notifications, set as default SEMIS app and more. It will also hide from the drawer. The app can't do much on your device. It just steals personal information and makes changes to your phone. But since it has admin permission, it can rest your phone, change passwords and some random things. From what I've seen, the app sends SMS to people in her contacts and asks them to download an app. The app permission are kind of risky since it can also wipe your SD card and delete all your photos and files. If you try to reset your phone, uninstall the app, not disable admin permission, it will just kick you out of the settings app. Explaining Viruses Part 9 Clash Royale APK Clash Royale.apk is a fake version. The original game, Clash Royale. The app is actually a spyware that monitors all activities on your device. After you open the IT, it will request this permissions. The app is renamed to the Truth Spy and asks you to disable Play Protect, which raises the risks pressing next. It will ask for admin privileges to lock your screen. It also has a login page that asks you to enter an email and password. After you logged, it will keep saying configuration and seems that it also wants root privileges. The app has so many risky permissions that it wants permission to wipe your SD card, which the app grants that permission automatically. When you click configuration, it will show you two buttons. If you click on hide icon, it will ask you to call a number. If you click on uninstall package, it will inform you that the app wasn't found. Explaining viruses part 10. Killnux.apk Kill is an RDM, resource draining malware. It eats your CPU resources and deletes everything. The app has 460 KB. The app will ask you for some permissions like storage. The app identifies itself as a hacking app. After some seconds or minutes, the app will start to eat the resources of your CPU and deletes all your downloads, files, photos, and more. After a few minutes, system apps will crash. Your device will start to extremely lag and unstable. The app will use so many resources that your CPU can't handle it, causing your phone to crash to protect your data in rare cases, you may lose the data. The app permissions are also risky. And by the way, the app is an Android virus and you can't download it in iPhone. Explaining viruses part 11. Wi-Fi .apk. Wi apk is a spyware. It can see your messages, spy on you, wipe your SD card and much more. Before opening the app, Google Play will warn you before installing Wi-Fi .opk. The app is in Portuguese. It asks you to agree to terms of service. The app will wait more than eight permissions. The app will wait more and more permissions. So that count 15 permissions for a Wi-Fi app. After that, it wants to create an account or log in into one. Because it has accessibility permission, it granted itself some permissions. So that's about 17 permissions, in total 26. When you open your camera app, it can see everything you do on the camera and also record your audio. Normally, the camera app can't record your audio when you take photos. If you try to open it, the app will say that it's not installed. If you try to disable admin privileges or look at the app permission, it will ask for a password, the one you entered at login. If you try to uninstall the app, it will either say that it's an admin app or it will kick you from the settings and hide from recents. I can simply enter the password, then I'm safe. No, you are not safe as long as you have the app installed. The single way is to disable accessibility permission, but it will kick you off the settings when you try to disable. 
Explaining Viruses Part 12. Your file is ready dot to be downloaded dot APK. Anyways, this is the dot virus I'm gonna explain. Your file is ready to be download dot APK is the name of the virus. And your file is ready to be download the APK is an Android virus. Some of you guys asked why Android is the one that get targeted for viruses because Android is easy to hack. Meanwhile, iPhone is hard to hack. Your file is ready to be download dot APK is in backdoor virus. A backdoor virus is a security threat that provides unauthorized access. This type of virus allows attack to control the device, steal data, or perform other harmful actions without the user aware of these activities. This type of virus is not having a name or icon. It happens when you download random APKs from unknown files. When you downloaded it, you will get a play protect warning and from your antivirus, if you use. Granting access to calendar will send you daily notification and asks you to download harmful apps. It's also an adware where it will keep showing you random ads as pop up on your screen. This malware not only makes your calendar full of alerts or showing pop ups, but your personal data is sending to their servers, which means your data is at risk. So that's all stay safe. Wait, stop, don't scroll yet. I'm so sorry if I interrupted your dot scrolling. But anyways, if you want to be in my dot shout out board here, it's things to do, so I can add you on the shout.out board. First step, subscribe. Second step, like. Don't third step, say. Can I be in the shout-out board? Last step, tag me. And kaboom! You're in the shout-out.board! That's all!